and we also discussed yes sir. branding definition of re retailing competition market researchers we spoke about the focus group uh, then interview test marketing and website view so today we have secondary research uh, comparison of quantitative and qualitative research certified types of sampling and i'll be sending the other tube okay so give me a second okay we'll start the class for today today we are going to discuss the secondary research okay, so what is a secondary research actually on primary research we spoke about that the product has been sold to the market but after analyzing a lot by going through a market research spending a lot of money understanding the customers needs knowing what really customers actually want in a market we will be providing a product that is what we say primary research secondary research is cheap compared to primary you don't spend to the level of primary market research but you do spend in secondary research too so there are four things that are taken from uh, these information like there are different ways of uh, secondary researchers but then these four can be also concerned like secondary research you can take information from the internet then we have information from public libraries education institution researchers government and non government agencies now you can see here this type of researches are carried out by government also so these informations are already available when you are making a research there are reasons like why you wanted to do secondary research first one road reach it can reach millions of people all around the world so it has already been carried out this type of research so you don't want to specially do a research because if the research is available you can use it but not always accurate to the research you are expecting so it won't give the correct information what you require second thing is ability to target social media allows specific groups of people to be targeted so you can uh, set a certain audience and target to those audience then we have free or low cost the use of social media may be free or businesses and paid options are usually cheap so actually when it comes to social medias you can use freely to enter groups but when you are sustaining the marketing campaign for a certain audience you need to make a payment then the fourth one personal it allows communication on a personal basis with individual customers and group and then the fifth one so it's very easy for us to communicate between the people and get the information what we actually need fifth one fast information can be collected very quickly from large numbers of people so that we can see because it's already available there the information can be accessed any time we want easy high level it skills and complex equipment are not needed as it is not expensive it's already available in internet you just click in google we can find out what we actually need so now there are types of secondary researchers put a topic in your write book i'll ask you to write, i'll give you certain things to write okay take your writing book so you can write number 1 social media number 2 newspaper magazines number 3 television radio number 4 books number 5 reports number 6 reports carried out by competitors reports carried out by competitors okay so moving on to the next part of the content we have advantages and disadvantages of a market research what are the advantages we can go through because of secondary research it is relatively easy quick and cheap to collect especially if the sources that exist are known this makes it very useful for smaller businesses so what they are trying to say actually 
if it is very accessible uh, you know i i i usually do something called affiliate marketing so when i learn how to do affiliate marketing through amazon uh, actually i learned i earned a lot of money out of it but it was very easy and quick and cheap many people doesn't know these things as the reason they are not earning good in, in sri lanka even in this pandemic crisis we can earn a lot if we have the moment the way how we can earn so it's not that easy to earn like they all think but it's very easy if you know the system so to know the system you need to learn the things properly if you learn the things properly knowing the system is going to be always very very easy so now moving on to the point we want to discuss several sources may be used this allows the data to be checked and verified so we should always ensure that we can uh, access many sources for understanding about certain things so for example if we need to know what happened to johnny depp's case we can just type and just research everything what people are saying but everything what people are saying cannot be true people have their own opinions so the opinions might change from one person to another third thing historical data may be used which can show trend over time so people can use the old data but then still uh, new data can also be found with, with reason blogs or something it can be used before carrying out primary research which helps to establish the most useful questions to be asking for students for example if i want to go to maldives now we we have a branch in maldives right so we are going to go to maldives we need to know the number of people how many islands what are the number of people how many students are studying from there what curriculum they are studying how many schools are there which area are there which island is there how many kilometers is an island so knowing these are basic things when you are going to do a market research then spending money and going there is the primary research so when we did this like we went through this type of questions and correct questions can give you the correct answers in primary and secondary research so then we can go deeper into primary research can you read the disadvantages okay so uh, actually they are saying that data is not always in a form that a particular business would want so you might go through a lot of research but you will not get the correct information what you require so that will not give you correct information means you will get dissatisfied end of the day so you also see data may be out of date and not relevant especially in fast changing markets so you need to be updated with the correct information so fast changing market for example like shine institute uh, does these researches of what uh, students actually needs so understanding that gives us for for being the niche uh, you know niche means understanding what actually certain the specific customer needs so that is giving us the chance to adapt and understand what people need and we need to do in that way and you can you cannot go on what what in traditional way for example if we lift the classes for two years or three years then of course it's going to be the same way what others are doing researchers must be aware of bias for example company reports and accounts may show show figure in the best possible light to satisfy your always so whatever you see might not be the way, uh, correct way because they might prepare in a articulate mind that they can uh, satisfy the shareholders in a different way the moment they make a research there may have been problems with the research for example the food notes to research may state that the sample use was too small and that the results may be inaccurate as a result so people have different perspectives so they think that for example if they, they if they can get the correct sample maybe one or two samples they can take a decision but samples cannot be correctly targeted because some people will have different opinions or different things so we move on to the next part quantitative and qualitative research so what is this actually quantitative and qualitative research quantitative is where you are finding the research in quantity terms qualitative is where you are finding the research in a uh, in a person satisfaction so different things because if you are targeting the number of number of crowd then quantitative is the correct research if you are targeting the people satisfaction in depth ideas then qualitative research should be carried out so they are given general nature and what is quantitative research objective approach to seek precise measurement in numerical form subjective approach in seeking depth description in narrative form knowledge of study available variables are clearly understood and defined in advance by the researcher researcher may have only rough idea about variables in advance so here you can have a good idea because it's quantity sri lanka has 21 million of people to be marketed understanding the market in numerical forms gives you an easy access on what to do next qualitative research is that 
subjective approach to seeking the description in narrative form then we move on to the next part difference between quantitative and qualitative research you can see here it explains attitudes and behaviors of market in detail generates verbal information to understand opinions and motivation it can be done with open questions observation focus group among others it can provide a deeper understanding of the object of study so what is actually this saying number one it says that people's attitudes and behaviors can help us to take a lot of decision second thing people verbal information opinions and motivation are taken into consideration third thing you can ask questions observe people maybe focus group ask certain people about the product's opinion and then you can take a decision it can provide deep understanding knowing people's mindset by interviewing them gives you a correct understanding now you take the worst richest person in ever in history there were two people okay so actually this guy is known as let me show you uh this guy is also known as mansa musa okay okay so now you can see this person years back this person is known as the richest person on entire history uh, he is rich to the level whenever he walks on the road okay whenever he is traveling from one, from one place to another his his name is mansa musa he has a lot of money to the level when he walks people can collect gold near his near his feet imagine how much gold he is putting and walking that is the level of richness he had so he has always one mindset give to people god gives you then you ask andrew carnage the second richest person ever in history is andrew carnage the carnage steel corporation owner he was living in 19th century century one of the richest person on earth this person is the the second richest person on history his birth his uh, amount of money was was 500 billion us dollars today the richest person on earth is uh, only having 150 billion but this guy had 500 billion us dollars and why he became rich he is the only employer in the entire history to pay the employees to pay the employees highest possible income on his companies when the entire world was in renaissance when the entire world was transforming into industrialization this guy was insane paying their staff 20 times higher than any other companies can pay by that time and he don't work very hard like others he knows that if he can help people people will help him so he has a very simple ideology from whatever he earns he give to people as maximum as possible that's the reason he became rich you saw this these people who became rich they always have a concept and this concept changes from paper to paper right you like jeff bezos he has a different moral story you like jack ma he has a different moral story you like elon musk he has a different moral story so these people have different moral story of understanding and giving an opinion but then this opinion changes from person to person but then what opinion matters is the richest person when he speaks about the things we listen to him very we listen to him very carefully sometimes the rich person can be biased he can cheat us by saying certain information but sometimes he will be giving the correct one then we have quantitative research it's ideal for discovering who what when and where generate numerical data to get effective statistic this is done through surveys or other data collection techniques provided hard data and useful information for making business decision here the researchers are taken for hard necessary understanding quantitative research speaks about uh, actually in numerical terms of form and in numerical value money values are considered here and then they are saying it's done through service or other data collection techniques so whatever the data is which is available they can decide it with the number of numerical forms and it's very easy for us to access this type of quantitative research then we move on to the next part types of sampling the first one we are going to learn is quota sampling under okay, so we move on to next part quota sampling subgroups within population can create group, group based on more than one variable subject chosen based on availability convenience sample now there are different four type of people on the society so we take from each people 
one person maybe if there is if you are, if i need to know about the syllabus of cambridge is it easy or not i can take from grade 1 to 3 3 to 6 6 to 11 and 12 and 13 so from this crowd if i take one person i might get some sort of view and idea we have study by sampling says that study by sampling refers to random sampling techniques that clubs items of whole population into different groups called strata based on their similar characteristic then samples from each stratum are taken whether proportionally or disproportionately so now first you have a entire population you ask there are three favorite drinks hotelo coca cola sprite which is your favorite drink and then you categorize people based on sprite categorize people people based on coca cola categorize people based on you know hotelo so after finding that asking taking one person out of each group and asking about the data so dividing and taking giving certain ideas and views of people is known as stratified sampling then the third type of sampling is simple random sampling just picking out a person from the society and asking about the view of a particular thing simple random sampling is a probability sampling method a simple random sample srs consists of n individual from the population chosen in such a way that every set of n individual has the same chance to be selected it can be conducted as easily as drawing name from a hat it is better sampling technique than convenience or voluntary response because it doesn't favor any part of the population so just picking out one of the sampling with a is known as simple random sampling you can see there are a lot of people but you just simply take it now you can ask so this simple uh, random sampling and coda sampling are same no simple random sampling and coda sampling is different in coda sampling you have different type of colors of people so you have this you know uh, maybe by from these colors of people you are taking certain people out of the each variable group and finding out but then almost all sample are like similar it can be coda certified but and also simple but then the, there's a actual difference in coda you divide you divide based on the division you are taking certain people but in certified you divide based on new perspective and take some people in simple and sampling you just pick it out anyone from the population and get a decision so you know you are on the road to success if you would do your job not be paid for it so i just feel like to put this because offer of entry is always a good person who has fought against the racism of people so that's why i shared this